by your sewing machine. There is one thing missing though, and that is buttonhole foot. Buttonhole foot, because buttonhole foot's uh, quite long. Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen Geely and on my channel I do sewing techniques, refashioning of old or even new clothing. And I also do a segment where I show you garments that I have designed, pattern drafted and also sewn. So in this video, I'm just going to be sharing with you what to expect when you buy your first sewing machines, the tools that it comes with, um, I'll just give you some basic overview of, of the sewing machine and what to expect and a little bit about the anatomy of the sewing machine. And the biggest thing is to make sure that you read the manual that comes with your machine first off because they can be very slight. Um, variations from brand to brand and also from different levels of sewing machines. So the one I'm going to show you is what I would possibly recommend for a beginner sewer. There are other more basic machines than what I'm going to show you now but this machine personally I definitely think would be more for someone who is definitely knowing that, that they are going to be fashion sewing for some time to come. This machine is what I would recommend this level of sewing machine. So let's get into the video. So I've got a sewing machine here, it doesn't matter what brand, um, there should more or less be a standardisation throughout any particular brand of sewing machine and any particular level of sewing machine as well. So I want to show you what's in this box. I've taken the machine out of its box and these are the things that came with the sewing machine. Um, so yeah, looking pretty good at the moment. Like I said, it really doesn't depend on um, what particular brand of sewing machine you get. What I'm telling you in this video will apply to any particular brand because it really is just about what you'll find when you first get your sewing machine. So these are kind of standardised tools um, that you expect to come with your machine so that it aids you in order to operate it correctly. So let's get through that now. So uh, I'll put the sewing machine to, to the side for one moment. So the first thing here, this is... It's surrounded with packaging. So this is the hard case. Um, some sewing machines come with a soft covering um, and it's always advisable to use a covering whether it's going to be a soft one or a hard one when you're not using your machine to keep it dust free. And you get a power cord. You get accessories and an instruction booklet and it really is advisable that you keep this um, to refer to um, when you have your sewing machine. Um, I always tend to keep mine generally, especially when you first get into know your machine and then um, yeah, you have a good idea about how your machine will work. But in first instance, I would definitely keep that handy toward near your sewing machine when you're first starting off, especially if you are a beginner. Just put that there. So let's see what we have. We should, um, oh, there we are. A foot control also comes with your machine. Even though um, a lot of people who have the option to use a foot control um, don't necessarily always use it. I don't. Um, I've used various different brands of sewing machines and they've always come with a foot control. And I don't think I've ever used a foot control when I've got an automatic sewing machine. Um, no, I mean, back in the day, this is how sewing machines actually operated. They needed a foot control in order to start their sewing machine and to get their sewing machine stitching and um, yeah, and to stop. So you need one of those. So it's a great idea if you do have one and it's an option that manufacturers give you these days. So power cord. And let's see what's in this bag. Of accessories. 
So we have a variety of quite a few here. So we've got some feet. so that you can see them. Okay, so let's, let's start with the feet. So you've got a zip foot here, a, a satin foot, a blind hemming foot. These are kind of like the three I would um, more often use than not. Here we have an over edge foot and, oh, this has a little brush. I don't think I've any of my sewing machine feet I've used before. It's got a little brush on it. Oh, that's cute. Can you see that? It's a little brush there. Right, now this is when your instruction book comes in handy. Now I have to look up to see what that foot is that has a little brush on it. Here we are. Can you see an over edge foot with a little brush? Okay, yeah, I would have probably been an over edge foot. Can some of the two the overcast foot? But it has a little brush on it. So it's an over edge brush foot with a little brush on it. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, I think it's a good idea to keep it now that I know. And then we have a quilting guide, a lint brush. Uh, we have also a seam ripper. We have sewing machine needles, bobbins. Oh, this is what I, this is, I do not like these. I really do not like, this is what is a screwdriver. It's a flat screwdriver. And I simply don't like them. They can be, they, they can be handy in emergencies, but um, they're, they're very slippery. So it's a flat screwdriver, but yeah, keep it handy out all the same. And here we have some spool stoppers. That's when you put your thread on and you put it on to the end so that your thread will, won't um, come off the, uh, the stool. And then you've got a spare spool there. So that's it, yes. That's what comes in this bag, so there we have. These are sort of things that you will find in your accessory kits when you first buy your sewing machine. There is one thing missing though, and that is Buttonhole foot. Buttonhole foot, because buttonhole foot's uh, quite long. Buttonhole foot, okay. It's usually standard in machines. Does it come out somewhere? Buttonhole foot. Let me just check. This should be a buttonhole foot. Yes, the buttonhole for number four, my four buttonholes. Okay, so this is stored in the accessory storage area of the sewing machine. Okay, sometimes it will come in with the packaging. And let me show you where it says that it is. Let me just get this sewing machine. Let me just move these out of the way. And let's see if it's in here. So this is going to be where you keep your tools. Da -da! And there we have it. Button hole foot. And like I said, you usually find it within the packaging along with everything else. But it's a good idea to keep it in there. So that's where you put some of these tools in here. And your feet. And close it up. So the next step is now machine towards me. Just make sure all the packaging, actually I turn it towards you. So here we have 
little bit more packaging to come away. This is just protecting the machine shank. And we also have the lever here. That's just a piece of paper. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's really nice. Okay, so this is what you would expect for your sewing machine. So these are the standards that you will find in your sewing machine. So in order for your sewing machine to operate correctly, you're going to need your power cord. And let me show you how that. Is your power cord and this goes into this side of your sewing machine I'll just turn that around so you can see and you put it in here like so make sure it's firmly in and then this goes into your power point here I'm going to show you that and let's see this machine light up and let's get it started Okay, now I am ready to power up. Let's see this machine in action. There we go. So it's now the lights come on and also the default stitching information has come on here as well, which is excellent. This is where the thread will go along here. Some machines have them standing up, they're upright. And as you can see here, it's horizontal. So make sure it's got a carrying handle, which is a must, so that if you are moving your machine around in your environment or you're taking it out of the house because you're attending a class or something like that, it's always a good idea to get a machine with a handle. So let's recap. So we talked about the accessories that comes with a sewing machine and there will be slight variations on what you get in um, an accessory bag um, and you can always refer back to your manual to make sure you've got everything there um, you also need a power cord of course otherwise your sewing machine won't be able to operate and you've also got the option for a foot control and um, like I said with modern day machines now um, they do give you the option to have a foot control and I've had several sewing machines and I haven't used my foot control yet and even though I've had my shit machine for years but it's handy to know it's there if you have any issues with your sewing machine um, but the one I'm going to um, the one I've shown you um, has an automatic um, stitching to it and that's what most modern machines are doing now and I think it does help the process of enjoyment a little bit more so um possibly um I mean me personally I've always had machines that uh, a more manual base let's say for example whether you had to you had to um, use um, the foot control or the through machine to start and start sewing and um, you also had um, to thread the needle <laughs> you had to thread the needle um, but you come up with little tips and tricks um, when that was the case back then but now they're making the whole process a lot easier and that's what I enjoy about technology um, today in sewing machines so um, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any comments or queries to ask about um, any brand of sewing machine just put those in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer it if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and please do share and I will see you in the next video thank you for watching